Well, some might be traumatized because the NBA Finals are over. Oh. I know. Uh, you Yay! know. <laughs> She's happy. Yeah. But you Get know my what? husband back. I think we've only got about 90 days until the NFL. What? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I digress. But even though the basketball is over, the basketball energy continues this weekend with the second annual Hooping for Hope basketball tournament. Hoping for Hopes is something that I put together, basically this is our second annual, like you said, um, for men of all ages, not only for the little men, but for the big men too. Because in the communities where I work, I find that we have a lot of men that need encouragement, they need hope, they need uplifting, and they need um, just to be brought up to their next life level. The second annual Hooping for Hope basketball tournament tips off this Saturday focused even more on raising men's life levels. That's a new concept for me. I see a lot of men that are just getting out of jail, maybe. Um, and they don't know where to go and get a job. They don't know how to expunge their record. They don't know how to do that kind of stuff. They don't know where to find another man they can confide in about what has happened in their life. So the next le life level is getting him employed maybe getting his record expunged, maybe helping him with his family to, to knit his family back together. The tournament is obviously more than basketball. Its primary focus, stir up conversation for men, by men. Their lives, what their um, expectations are, what their dreams are. Some of them just don't know how to get to their next life level. So what we're doing is bringing in men who can possibly help them. So I'm asking ministries, law enforcement, and as you can see, um, basketball teams um, to come out and to help us with this effort. Returning champions, South Coast Fire embraced raising life levels before even playing in last year's tournament. And what we do is we have a whole a gamut of players' ages. Our team is from 18 to 80, if you can ball. I'm assistant chaplain at the bridge, whereas kids are coming out of there, haven't played basketball, got a basketball game. We'll bring them to the fire, kind of groom them up, teach them how to get back into society. And all that stuff come together like you put it in a basket and all gets together. So it's exciting to even be involved in that type of situation. The Ministry of Old Plain Road Baptist Church feels partnering with the South Coast Fire and utilizing basketball as a tool to connect enhances the message they all strive to share. We, we, we're, we're about people's lives and we know, uh, men, that this is just a, a God-given aspect of that, that we can come out and play basketball and enjoy it and it be a vehicle uh, by which, man, we can just minister into people's lives in different areas, whatever it might be. And maybe it's just coming out, having a good time and playing a game, but encouraging them, but also with there being a, a, a greater narrative, a greater aspect of that in mind of, of meeting needs in people's lives. And so, um, and, and, and we, we see fruits of that, and that does happen down the line. And, and this is kind of a doorway to that. Coach Pond says he gets life watching the kids experience the tournament atmosphere. Well, the exciting part is to see the, see the kids come out and then see their eyes light up when you see ball players out there interacting with the kids, the kids running the balls down. Everyone is invited to attend the tournament, but Helen really wants men to come out and share. Men can take this further than I can ever take it because men can pour into the lives of other men. I can only tell them what to do so far, but when there's a man that can help another man get to his next life level, he may not know how to get there, but another man can tell him how to get there. He can pour into his life. He can tell him some things that he needs to know that I can't do. So it is very important for men to participate and to come out and to do this. I believe on the northwest side of Jacksonville, we need that more than anything. Around Jacksonville, certainly, but northwest side of Jacksonville is where I work and where I see the most need. So it is very important that they come out and wrap their arms around these young men. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So this is a great event for a great message for dads to get out and all men, you know, just get out and have a conversation. So it's Saturday. Uh, tip off is at 11 a.m. at the Charles Reese Park in the Ken Knight neighborhood. So uh, the team registration is closed. But if you want to go out and have a positive experience and have some good man talk, that's yeah. the place to be. There's yeah. something about when dad talks, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I can talk to him blue in the face and I'm like, I'm telling your daddy. <laughs> and then it kind of changes a little bit. So, I mean, it's good. And a lot of families don't have men yeah. in the household. So, yeah. got to rally behind them. Absolutely. Yeah. All the information will be on our website, rivercitylivetv.com. So, you can go there. Stick around. More to come right after this.